Fun fact, this is the same exact shirt I was wearing when I started episode one of Attack on Titan. How the turns are tabled and things have come full circle. We are on the last episode of Attack on Titan season number three today. We're going into season number four as of next week. I'm gonna have a full season three recap before that though. So I'm so excited to hop into everything. And man, let me just say guys, this has been an amazing journey. Starting this reaction channel was something I was a little hesitant on. I've met so many of you cool people through this. I'm really happy to keep growing this channel. So I'm excited for Attack on Titan season four some Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and lots of other really cool things. To recap the last episode that we watched, it's getting real, man. It's getting real, real. So we know everything there is to know now about Grisha's past and the truth of humanity. We learned about the truth of Ymir and the nine original Titans. We even found out some information about the owl and how he has Eren's abilities, and he is... Aaron and it seemed like he shares memories with him and I don't know there's a lot of stuff going on But the craziest thing to me is that Dina the lover of Aaron's dad Grisha and the father of Aaron's half-brother Zeke who is the beast titan is the same titan that ate Aaron's mom at the fall of Shin and Shina and is the same titan that he hit hands with to get the power of the coordinate to be able to direct titan We found out that it works in the way that if somebody of royal blood interacts with someone that has Aaron's specific ability He can control the titan to become this coordinate that is so sought after. So how he's going to use this ability going into season number four, I don't know because Historia is the only one that can help him with this apparently. If he speaks up and says that Historia has to help him with this, God only knows what her role from here on is going to have to be in that case. So there's a lot to kind of wrap my mind around. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining it perfectly, but try to do a full season recap with my good friend Aishinobi who actually inspired me to start a reaction channel. So we're going to go over everything. It's going to be great, but I'm just going to try to take in this last episode for what it is. We're going to hop right into this one though. Just want to mention that I stream every single day of the week on twitch.tv slash TV. Without further ado, let's go ahead and finish up season three of Attack on Titan. Finally here, dude. Last episode. Opening back up with Grisha and Eren. So this is what we learned about the Attack Titan in the last episode. The Attack Titan is the name. Woo! How it's passed down through the times, man. And this is where we learned about the coordinates control because of the, the, the hit with uh, his dad's lover. So now he has to be able to touch royal blood to control it in general. Is Historia the only one alive with royal blood at all? He has no idea what military would do if they knew this information. The final command he gave to him. Did we get to see him eating this Aaron? Why did he know Mikasa and Armin's name, man? What the frick? He doesn't even know who that is. Oh my gosh, dude. Man, the book. The book and Aaron, they want to go to the sea one day. Ah! The other side of the wall. Are we going to make an advancement to the other side of the wall? We announce this to the public, the walls will crumble with chaos. I don't think they will. I think you're being dramatic. These guys are against announcing the truth. This is the exact problem that created this issue. We wish to follow the lead of King Reese and ensure that people of the walls stay domesticated and ignorant. No, it's the exact reason why we fought against the old crown. Let's announce it. Yes, big queen is returning the memories King Reese stole. Oh man, so they got it spread into everybody now, huh? The true identity of Titans who threatened us are humans. It's human versus human war. We're all the subjects of Ymir. What does Levi think about this, man? He altered the memories using Titan powers. So now humanity knows, man. Humanity hasn't perished. They call them a race of devils. In the near future, the enemy will invade our lands to obtain resources. Their plan is to begin five years ago when the attack of the Colossal Titan. The Colossal and the Armored Titan, five years ago that started everything. This is as credible as you make it sound? Yeah! You wanna trust me? Or Hanji was missing one of her eyes, man. I think she's missing an eye. Maybe it's just bruise or something. Imagine you were told everything you know is a lie. Some lash out the military and says it's conspiracy theory. Chaos is probably a good word to describe it. Chaotic. I have like anxiety of like what is gonna come of everything here. Now that we know the truth. The world sees as humans with dangerous monsters. As a result, what if this hell only repeats itself? It's all up to Aaron and his team, Mikasa and Armin, if this can be broken or not. It's Grisha's work that got us here. It's amazing. Heroes of the Wall, the nine. Here's Hitch, who was sleeping inside her bed while everybody else was dying. Poor Marlo's gone. That's probably make her so sad. Poor, poor Marlo deserved better, man. Marlo was an urgent recruit just like me. He managed to bring us recruits together. I have chills. I actually have my arm hairs like standing up right now. Seeing his growth, even though he's not as main of a character, ever since season two, I got kind of attached to him, his strength. He's probably never listened to me because he wanted to defy the odds to be strong. 
I'm it's sure he stuff. regretted being there. He wanted to be asleep just like Marla was in her bed. Yeah, why you gotta add that, man? I guess it's truth. The whole premise of what's going on is telling the truth. Jeez, but that is kind of brutal to, to bring up the fact that he was scared in his last moments. Arvin has some big shoes to fill, though. I'm glad he's alive and I would have done it 10,000 times over, but my goodness. I'm the only one who thinks that. Dang, dude. Tell it to his face. Dude, Armin is just as good. His brain is strong. Still to tell you why Armin was chosen. Because you two and Captain Levi brought your emotions into it. No, but everyone was the one that slapped it, uh, Levi's arm away. So like, it is kind of true, but we know Armin's just as smart. There was some serious thinking that went into this decision. Because of the ones that behaved like an adult and kept him like in check this whole time. John's the one to break out the fight now, man. You can't change anything about the past. You have to accept your current reality. Dude. This guy has a really good point, but like, you gotta look at the bright side. The amount of guilt Armin must carry with him is insane. I'm not the one that can turn the situation around. But, say but. Say but. It's I really can't say if it's the right decision or not. It's the whole premise of all these things, man. Not knowing what's right and what's wrong. He wants to see what's beyond the wall is his dream. The sea. Yes. Cario waters, land of ice, snowy, sandy snow filled. Show it to us. Bring us to the sea. The other side of the wall. Freedom. Is he having recollections of his memories now from his dad? Oh, man. So here's the medal ceremony being performed by Queen Historia, man. This is so insane to see them go from being like scouts or you know, uh, recruits training together, being the only survivors of the battle, being marked with honor with these medals. I have such chills, man. Despair, truth. What is gonna happen in season four? Aaron's determination to not sacrifice Historia in any of this. Oh, the electricity! Oh man, it's surging through him. He's remembering remember his dad saw. Oh my gosh, dude. And Frida's being controlled, I guess, by the king, so she she wasn't listening to reason. This is an awkward time to remember that, buddy. Oh man, he's petrified. Oh man, this is crazy. Okay. So he just had all those memories surge through him of that day where his dad was pleading with the Reese family. So now we got some information on the intents for the future. It is evident that the world perceives us as a race of devils. The people of the world wish to eradicate us, subjects of Ymir. However, we must not simply wait for our extermination to come about. As long as we live, we must strive to ensure our survival and our efforts to prevail must never cease. However, is a display of power enough to frighten the world? our only method of doing so. Is that the only way they can actually stand up against people who think they're the devils? By frightening them. Is there no other option than flaunting the very power we possess, the power of the Titans, that make the world believe we are the devils? Is it delusional to think we could all sit around at the same table and talk? I wanna think it's possible, even if it seems like an idealistic view. There we go. I believe coming up with a better way is my duty, and so I must never turn away from thinking about it. So I don't know who wrote that. I guess that might be Krisha's words, it might be Aaron's words. We see snow coming down now. Snow falling, sound of the Titans being crushed by Trost's giant sledge went silent. The military announced that Walmaria had been cleansed of Titans. Walmaria was retaken. Successfully, flowers are budding and butterflies dancing. A very optimistic scene. People going back to their homes. Ah, oh, man, you can see in the bottom left corner all the destruction. So Aaron's 16 now. Scouts once again resumed expeditions past Walmaria with only nine or more people. Oh, Armin, Mikasa, and Aaron. Aaron's got longer hair now. He looks so grown up in a year. Red. Red mean titan. Please don't tell me it's the beast titan. Please don't tell me it's the beast titan. Right there. It's a normal titan. Tried to crawl to the wall little by little, but now it can't move. It was shipped to paradise. A fellow patriot. Oh my goodness, dude. This poor guy. And now they're at the desert. This is the first time experiencing desert. This is such an eye-opening experience for the most of them. More walls in the desert. This is it. We've made it to the other side of the wall. This is the place where Eldens were made into Titans, where his dad had to watch all of it go down. Oh man, are we gonna see the sea? It is, I see the reflection on the rock. The sea, dude! Oh my goodness, man. We finally made it. Oh man, I always wanna get emotional over that. This is their first time ever seeing the sea. What an incredible sight. 16 year old Armin getting to see the sea, man. <laughs> it's salty in my eyes.
<laughs> Seriously, all salt water. Just so fascinated. It might be poisonous, don't touch it. Mikasa doesn't know how to react when it comes rushing in. Oh my goodness. They're smiling to one another. Ah, I'm living so happily through this, man. Look on the other side of the wall. There's a sea. On the other side of the sea is freedom. Ah, dude. We earned it. We got to this point, but I was wrong. Wait, on the other side of the sea is not freedom? They're enemies. More fighting. Every part of our, this is exactly how I saw my dad's memory. If we kill all our enemies over there, will we finally be free? Man, long hair Aaron's getting deep. But we got this shell at least. That's cool. Oh my goodness. There you go, everybody. Three seasons of Attack on Titan. What a journey. Just letting the music play out. I'm gonna watch the very ending scene of the, of the season really quickly, just to make sure there's nothing I miss. Then we'll talk about it at the end here. Very last scene here with Aaron looking outside the window. How it's all come together, man, is so good. To be continued, the worst scene in all of anime. <laughs> man, so there you go, end of attack, <laughs> dude. I can't believe you guys waited years for the fourth season to come out after seeing this. I would lose my mind knowing what's to come next. The end of three seasons, what a journey it's been. We have one more season to go. It's still ongoing, so we're gonna be catching up every Sunday, a new episode with the rest of the world once I can get caught up with season four. I know there's a lot to get through with season four already, but man, knowing everything that Aaron knows about his dad's past and finally making it to the sea and knowing that there's enemies ahead builds up so much stuff for the season and I cannot wait. So really excited to hop into this. I just wanna save for a quick second and for everybody watching this, if you're on Patreon or if you're watching live on YouTube, thank you for watching with me through these like almost 60 episodes so far. And it's incredible. It's it's absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm feeling so happy to, uh, to have watched this show with you guys. So thanks for hanging out and supporting the channel. We're gonna get to season four. Before we do that, we're doing a full season recap with Ai Shinobi. So keep your eyes out for that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed all the way up to this point as much as I did. And if you didn't, don't mind doing so, make sure you go ahead and drop a sub like, and a subscribe, a like, and a comment and I will see you in the next reaction video. Shout out to all of my Patreon subscribers that you see on the screen right here. Becoming a Patreon supporter gives you access to early and uncut anime react videos as well as a ton of other content and your name is at the end of every single one of my videos. So if you guys want to become a Patreon today, you can find it in the link down below. It's a great way to support the channel and I hope you'll consider doing it.